Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sani Beauty here. And if you are new, welcome. I hope you join the Sani family. So today I'm gonna to be doing a client makeup look for you guys. I haven't done one of these in a long time. So I'm just gonna jump right in and fill in Sharice's eyebrows. And actually Sharice has been on my channel before. I did a video with her last fall and it was more of a neutral fall look. So this year we're doing a full glam beat down. Uh, so I'm just filling in her brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in dark brown and I'm just brushing that out with a clean spoolie. Next to clean up her brows I'm going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45 and I'm honestly just using this to clean up the brows and give it a nice shape and I'm not overdoing her brows either as you can see I'm just following the natural shape of her eyebrows and then blending out that concealer. Like I mentioned before guys, Sharice has been on my channel. She's actually a YouTuber and a blogger, so I'm gonna leave her information in the description box below so you can check her out. And also this video will be featured on her blog, so I'll leave the information down below so you guys can check that out as well. And then this guys is a very important step you want to brush out the beginning of your eyebrows because this will eliminate that boxy square look um, this way you have a more flattering natural brow shape next I'm gonna be going in with a Tarte Shape Tape concealer and this is in tan sand you guys know I love this concealer as a base for the eyelids and I'm just placing that all over the eyelids and then I'm gonna blend it out with a dual fiber brush you can use whatever brush you have I'm just letting you guys know the brush that I have but I love this product because it stays in place and it really does hold on to whatever product goes on top. Any eyeshadow, any pigment, any whatever, like this is an amazing base. So for this eye look today, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsession Palette and it is gorgeous for the fall. I'm just going in with those two neutral warm shades there and I'm just going to put that in her crease. So I'm just going in with that dark brown that's in the palette. I actually forgot to show you guys, but it's the only dark brown shade that's in the palette and I'm doing that in her outer corners. And I'm also blending that up into her crease. And you guys can see me lifting her brow because this helps to smooth out the eyelid and to kind of prevent any creasing or like any skipping in the shadow. And here guys, I wanted you to see my technique with the cut crease. I did not speed up this section because I want you to see how I'm patting and pulling. Um, this for me gives people with like any creasy eyes or like eyes that are hooded, it helps to give you like better precision. And then I'm just using my finger to diffuse out the corners of the concealer. Next I'm just adding back that dark brown shade from the palette and I'm really just focusing right on the outer corners. I'm not bringing it too far in, maybe halfway in and just blurring that out. In the palette I'm going into this kind of rose goldy pinky shade, applying it to the eyelids and I'm doing more of a patting and pressing motion with the brush. The shimmer colors in this palette are very pigmented. It's like so amazing how pigmented they are. I didn't even have to wet the brush or anything. They just went on full blown color payoff like that. Next I'm going to be going in with the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Kitten Karma. I love this product, like this is probably one of my favorite products in my kit. This is a nice way to add like a shimmery glittery eye without using any of that loose glitter that will like give you any fallout or anything. This honestly is like the product to have in your kit 100%. Like you guys can see how it gives the eyes like a nice pop, I love it. And then I'm just gonna be lining her eyes with this black track gel liner from MAC and I'm just using a very skinny like liner brush. This is MAC's 210 and I really do love this brush. So I did use black track to rim her waterline and I'm just going in with that dark brown just to smoke out her lower lash line. So guys, I'm just wiping away any fallout from under her eyes. I'm just wiping that away because I don't want it mixing in with her foundation. 
And then I'm going in with the Benefit Professional Primer. Guys, this primer is worth the hype. It controls oily skin, it smooths up pores and texture, and it helps your foundation to stay flawless and smooth throughout the day. So I love, love, love using this primer. And I'm just blending that into her skin with a dual fiber brush that I have from MAC. You can use whatever you like to blend it out, fingers, um, beauty blender, whatever you like. But I'm just using this brush to blend it out. Next, I'm going in with a color corrector from MAC. This is called Burnt Coral, and it's only sold in the pan form. Um, you can get it at any MAC Pro store. You can Google wherever a pro store is in your city and just get it there. It comes in a pan insert, so I just put it in a duo palette on my own, and I'm just placing that under her eyes or anywhere where she has any discoloration. And again, I'm not going right up to the lash line because remember, there is eyeshadow there. Next, I'm going in with my favorite foundation of all time, the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation. This is in the shade NC50, and I love this product because it is medium to full coverage, it's buildable, it has a nice satin finish, which gives it more of like a skin-like look. I love it because you can even use it as a concealer. It's very multi-purpose. Then you can also mix uh, maybe a moisturizer or like a luminizer with it to give it more of a dewy look. But I really, really do love this product. It's easy to manipulate. And also I see a lot of makeup artists using this foundation in their kit a lot. If you guys want to see like a what's in my freelance kit type of video, please leave a comment below and I will definitely do that for you guys. So to highlight Sharice's face, I'm going in with the MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NC45. And I'll also be adding a little bit of the Shape Tape Concealer in the Tan Sand just for additional brightness. And then I'm just spraying her face with some Fix Plus just so her face is nice and hydrated while I'm blending out the concealer. And look how flawless her face is looking already. Like that Studio Fix concealer gives a nice yellow undertone and then the Shape Tape concealer gives a brightness. I love using these two things together. And then for the contour, I'm gonna be using the Studio Fix concealer in NW50. And for this product, I would say uh, to move pretty quickly because it does dry down fairly quick. Next, I'm going in with this Derma Blend Translucent Powder. And guys, one of my favorite makeup artists on Instagram, her name is Amanda Dizzle. I'll leave her name down below, but she raves about this translucent powder. I was kind of intimidated by how light it was, but to be honest, it's like melting right into the skin. And I really did end up enjoying it because it has like a, mic like a micro texture type of powder and it blends away very easily and it just helped to brighten up her under eyes and concealed areas. So to add some warmth back into the skin, I'm just adding some blush and this is Raisin from MAC. And then to highlight, I'm using the Dose of Color Chasing the Sun Highlighter from the Desi and Katie Round 2 collection. And honestly, I wanted some more glow, so I went in with the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter and it gave me the perfect amount of glow that I was looking for. So I'm just going to quickly apply some lashes. These are the RD Beauty Lashes in the style Hazel. And I actually really like these lashes. I got them from my beauty supply store, but I do know that they have an Instagram and a website so you can check them out. And I'm just finishing off her face with some Fix Plus before I put on the lipstick. Right now I'm just lining her lips with Vino Lip Liner from MAC and it's a nice like berry toned lip liner. And then we're just going in with the MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick. This is in the shade Burning Love. And guys, if you are looking for a matte lipstick but is smooth like butter, this line is it. Like, I love these Powder Kiss lipsticks. And that is it, guys. Full fall glam for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And also let me know if you want to see more client videos or if you want to see what's in my kit. Bye!